and I am back. I am Salim Khan, student from the standard and today we have both modules of elasticity from the chapter elasticity. Today we are going to make, okay, start our third video over elasticity, okay, and today we will discuss over bulk modules of elasticity. So the question arises that what is bulk modulus of elasticity this is the main question and our whole video is based over this question that what is bulk modulus of elasticity so this we have question so for that we need to understand what is modulus of elasticity what is modulus of elasticity i have already told you that modulus of elasticity means e is the ratio of stress and strain Okay, E is the ratio of stress and strain. Means we can write that E equals to stress divided by strain. But why stress divided by strain? Why not strain divided by stress? Why not any other thing? Because we know that by Hooke's law, okay, stress equal okay, stress equals to E times strain. Stress equals to E times the strain as this strain will be transferred next side. So it was in multiplication with E. It will come in division with stress. So what we have is stress by strain equals to E means E equals to stress divided by strain. Now this we have. So so much we have now. Okay, according to this we can write that E is ratio of stress and strain. Miss modulus of elasticity is ratio of stress and strain. To which in simple form we can write that E equals to sigma divided by epsilon because sigma stands for stress and epsilon stands for strain. So much we have now. We need to understand bulk modulus of elasticity, not simply modulus of elasticity because in modulus of elasticity there are many kinds bulk modulus of elasticity young modulus of elasticity and such more so we need to particularly focus over bulk modulus okay what is bulk modulus so let me tell you that e equals to sigma by epsilon so much we have now for little time we need to forget this and imagine such a case okay where any pressure okay where any pressure is acting on any body Okay, imagine a uh, such a case where any pressure is acting over any body and due to this pressure, the volume of that body, okay, V extends to delta V. Imagine such a case where due to the pressure acting on any body, the volume extends from V to delta V. Such a case, just imagine. Now, what we can write? that in such type of cases can the epsilon sorry can the okay what we can write is stress means sigma and pressure be equal just like what is sigma okay sigma means f divided by a sigma can be write as such f divided by a means for force per unit area now pressure what we can write pressure is also f divided by a only the difference is this that sigma equals to restoring force by cross sectional area and pressure equals to the for external force force acting on the area divided by cross sectional area this we have so but in such cases okay let us take that sigma equals to p means our stress equals to pressure such let us take now what we can do okay this we have miss stress what we have stress is pressure okay stress or stress value is magnitude is p now what we can say that what is the value of strain strain means epsilon now to epsilon generally form is okay i'm telling the form the form for an equation of epsilon is delta x by x where x values can be anything it can be length it can be mass for or so okay those things it can be especially volume pressure those things it can be so here what is value of x okay volume so what we can write implies that epsilon equals to delta v divided by v this is the strain what we have modulus of elasticity stress by strain so we'll divide our stress by strain so we'll divide p divided by delta v by v so what we can write that e means modulus of elasticity here in this cases p divided by okay delta v 
by v. This we can write p divided by delta v by v. Now here, see, now here, remember that a negative symbol will be put on p. But why this negative symbol will be put? Why minus will be put? Minus symbol will be put? Because it this negative symbol indicates that as pressure increases, the volume decreases. We all know that as pressure increases, the volume of the body decreases. This we all know. So according to this, okay, this this minus symbol is indicating the same thing, the same point. So this is why to indicate this point, we have to put a minus symbol in it. What we have equals to minus p divided by delta v by v. Now only okay p we have now at the place of p can we put delta p because here we have to put the change in pressure not the total or average pressure we have to put the change in pressure so what we can write implies that e equals to minus of delta p okay means change in pressure divided by this in bracket we can put so delta v by v finally what we got equals to minus of delta p divided by delta v by v this we have now any okay just like this is a modulus of elasticity and any modulus of elasticity of this form is the bulk modulus of elasticity so finally we can write equals to b means bulk modulus of elasticity so just like you can say that bulk bulk modulus of elasticity is any elasticity modulus of elasticity sorry okay of the magnitude or of the form minus delta p divided by delta p by v sorry delta v by v okay any in any case just like we have any modulus of elasticity so we can call that modulus of elasticity as bulk modulus of elasticity if it is of this form or the equation for that is minus delta p divided by delta v by v so this is the about bulk's modulus of elasticity Elasticity. So finally, what we are getting implies that B equals to minus delta P divided by delta V by V. Okay, where it will be bracket. So this, okay, this we know the answer that what is bulk modulus of elasticity and this we know the answer of the what is equation for bulk modulus of elasticity and this is the final equation for bulk modulus of elasticity. So this was my today's topic and if you haven't subscribed this channel, so please subscribe this channel. Thank you.